outside, I look like someone who has everything in place. And a little um, do people know, I was emotionally very unstable. Yes, um, you know, everybody think that, oh, Helen's got everything, three kids, uh, beautiful kids, uh, they're all in university, great husband, great friends, great parents. Um, yes, in the outside, I do look like someone who has everything in place. Little did they know, I was emotionally unstable. I feel defeated um, as I was getting into my late um, 40s physically. I didn't believe that I could go into my 50 physically um, feeling young again, feeling strong, feeling attractive. Mm. My spouse didn't think I, I could still look young anymore and um, because I was going to my 50. And, um, and I wanted to be more outside the home. I wanted to make a difference in the world, but I didn't know anything. Literally, I didn't know anything. I was a stay-at-home mom for 20 years, looking after three kids. My dream was to have kids at night, and I have three kids, beautiful um, kids. And my dream was to make sure they go get some university experience, and they have. And I have made my dream um, come true and have a great husband, stable um, family. But inside of me, something was missing. I didn't feel valuable. I didn't feel I was good enough. I didn't feel I was valuable enough. I was told to settle for what I have. The way I look, the way I believe in myself, the way my identity was that I couldn't be more than just a stay-at-home mom. I was told, but I was very sad thinking that until I, I saw uh, Tony Robbins, how he inspired thousands of people on stage that moment. I told myself, I know what I want. I want to be like him. But I didn't know anything, literally. I have no skills. I haven't worked for over 27 years outside the home. And how do I get to be like him? Do I go back to school? Do I go back to um, university? Do I want to spend another eight years learning? That wasn't the plan. I was told that I should just be happy with what I have. I was confused. At the same time, my body was declining. My physical body was not keeping up. Um, I didn't look the way I used to in my 20s. And I did feel attractive in front of my husband. Then Coach Ellen showed up in my life. Little did I know, he was a student, Tony Robbins, for over 20 something years. Not just that, he was into fitness. He believed I still able to um, get a younger version physically. He, he just very supportive of my ideas. Everything I say, I want to do this. He would say, sure, you know, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> and, and not just that, he would encourage me to go on stage, like bikini fitness stage, something I never even like tried before or never even dream of before. I never even exercise um, the way I do now. I hardly go to the gym in the past. I mean, I hardly work out. And you know, doing my motherhood, and the fact that he he think I could compete on stage as a bikini fitness model, you know, at age fifty 
with something incredible, something that he thought I could do was a gift. Because at home, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was too old. So the fact that he was able to have that kind of belief in him, you know, belief in me makes a huge difference. He gave, he gave me hope. Right, so I sort of, um, uh, what is it? Kickboxing, because I wanted to try something different to get back into shape. And little did I know, um, over the years, he became a very, um, very special person who I go to now for for advice, for, um, it, he, he's like a, a father figure I never had. Okay, the reason is because I grew up not knowing my own father. Until I was 11 years old, I only saw my father once a year. And when I came to unite it with my father, we didn't have that kind of father-daughter relationship. I was always scared of my father. My father didn't know. He he didn't know how to be a father. Uh, emotionally, physically, he tried his best. He always provided us food. Um, uh, you know, basic necess necessity food. But he was never um, there for us emotionally. So I, I, I wanted someone who can teach me things who can um, support me, who tells me, um, go ahead and, and, and try things. Coach Ellen was that person. He, he was more excited when I, when I try and fail. Why? Because he believed in, in perfection, meaning as long as you try, you will find a way. He loves it when he knows that we give our best, but he also loves it when you try. When you do give your best effort and still not there yet, he doesn't mind. He has patience for that. He believes in everyone who wanted something. What I like about him was he tried his best to to provide the students, including me, what we wanted. But one thing he, he made a difference in how I look at him was, one day, as we were working out in the gym, and we were talking, and then he said, oh my God, I'm so happy. My stepdaughter, Calls me dead. The smile on his face looked like he had won a lottery of millions and millions of dollars. Like something so simple, but to him, it was the happiest day in his life. And I look at him. Wow. You can be so easily pleased. Your stepdaughter call you a dad. And you can have so much joy. Which tells me he has a good heart. A man who, who can be so pleased easily like that. Taking care of um, someone else's child. Like his own. I remember he 
once told me that when he first met his uh, stepdaughter, his stepdaughter told him that I don't like you, and that was, I, th I believe, almost ten years ago, and now. He and his stepdaughter are like best buddies. He make an effort to be around those he loved the most. That tells me he loved his partner, girlfriend, very much, in order to be so patient with his stepdaughter. When I see that, he's not just good at his work. In the gym, he's really amazing as a person. So I keep investing in him to guide me in fitness. And and after when I got the results in in fitness, I want to be more. Of course, he he believed in me, and he took me to this journey of personal development. How to become a better version of myself inside, not just outside, not just looking good on stage, but be kinder, to have more compassion for other people, and to have better control of my emotions. I know, in the gym, I spend hours complaining about people around me. Sometimes, often, frustrate me. Yes, I wasted those hours, but I had to let that go. But it was his patient to be more for me. Because he believed that I can be more, he didn't give up on me. And now, this stage in my life, I am not just physically at my best. I'm emotionally at my best. Coach Allen taught me how to have more compassion for others. And not just that, he taught me how to love myself. He's the one who introduced me. There are so many tools I can learn, like NLP tools. I knew he has some kind of tools that he used to be able to communicate with people, to influence people, the way he talked. People listened when I stopped talking. I feel I wasn't at all influencing people. So it was him who encouraged me to continue、um, learning more, to continue to understand myself more, to be more, because he believed in me. I can do better. So it was his. Really, his his belief in people was the gift that I got、uh, that make him a an amazing, I would say, Tony Robbins、uh, version, Asian version. <laughs> Now,、uh, all the tools that I learned, I'm able to have better control myself. Relate better relationships with my kids, with my spouse, with my friends, and with my family members. If it was for the patient that Coach Allen、um, showed with me, I don't know where I would be. Like a lot of my friends, who are not very satisfied in in, in life. And now I can create anything I want, and it was because of all Coach Allen's compassion, 
to help other people become better. So thank you so much, Coach Allen.